assalamu alaikum hey guys okay so now that we are done with installation uh, let's go ahead and start building a pcb uh, we're gonna just build a small rlc fairly basic circuit so just that we are familiarized with the whole procedure of designing a pcb circuit so let's start doing that go to file new and you don't have to click on schematic or pcb remember that you don't have to click here go to project click on project and here is your PCB project. Select this PCB project here and name it. Let's name it RLC for test one. Okay, now where I want to save it. Let's see where I want to save it. Here. Okay, so I want to save it here. That's fine. Okay. And okay. Now it's gone. Open. Okay, now I click right click here add new project and now I add a schematic here okay now let's just save it first save and and it all automatically comes to the folder uh, where I just save the project so just rename whatever you want circuit all it's simple okay now uh, I wanna make circuit two times First in the schematics, then in the PCB. Uh, what I have to do is click here on this place part diode shape thing, or I could just double press the P button on the keyboard. Now let's single press P, just click here, single press P, and again press P, it comes to this part. Okay, so this is a history of the previous items, if any, I've choose from here. Uh, what we'll do is choose from here choose and miscellaneous devices there are two options let's go to devices go to type resistor okay so we have a bridge resistor a resistor with the whole drillings and this is also whole drilling this is a surface mounted resistor so i'm gonna just design for now the pcb which has holes in it and let's choose that i can choose the designator from here or Command on it about the details, or I could just simply place it here and cancel and zoom it in and double click here. I can just simply change the values again from here. Okay, so now again, double P choose. Let's put an injector here. Uh, as you can see, it's a surface mount inductor here. I don't want that for now. Let's go with this one. That's also fine, a bigger one. Let's go here. Okay, lecture. I want to rotate it. Uh, press spacebar, spacebar, spacebar. And let's go, let's go it. And I want to go up here and choose a capacitor. Okay, so this is a fairly basic capacitor. Just remember that you don't have to uh, fix any values, it doesn't matter 100 picofarad or not, it doesn't matter, you can put it anything here because in the PCB, it's simply gonna be a uh, few holes and you can put any capacitor there you want. Let's put it 100 microfarad or whatever. Now let's also put a battery here. Choose battery. Okay. Okay. And spacebar. Okay, so that's fine. Cancel. Okay, now I, I'm gonna uh, connect all these together. Uh, click on place wire. Just make sure that you get a red dot here. As you can probably see where the mouse, mouse is pointing, the pointer is pointing. It's a it's a gray cross. We don't want a gray, gray cross, the smaller one. Here you can see a big red cross that ensures that the connection is permanent. And click here click here if you if uh, as you can see the terminal is here and the red cross is here if i go above the terminal the uh, where the pointer is pointing it's a gray cross and the red cross is at the top so just make sure that you do not miss any connections connect 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 okay fine okay now save it control s and compile it just so that you see there are no any error an arrow okay now go to files at, the, at these types at the bottom tab go to files and uh, these probably will be open 
just minimize them and in the end you will see a PCB board visit here click here go to next select the units you want to work in I'm gonna go with metric custom board you can select any board you want with any size specific size I'm gonna uh, define my size and you can choose a rectangular circular or custom if you want your PCB to be circular just put the radius in I will be let's, put, let's see let's go for rectangular for now let's make it 5 cm 50 mm is 5 cm by 5 cm it doesn't matter if it's a 6 or not let's just move it off and uh, the rest of the stuff you just have to keep it simple and next 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 uh, well there are multiple layer designs but those are complex ones we're gonna just stick with a single layer design and we're gonna put the power pins to zero next now there are two types of styles in the through hole and the surface mounted or where I'm gonna go with the through hole why is only I don't want surface mounted components I would like uh, to be with the components to be drilled uh, to be put into the drill holes as you can see there are surface mounted there are small some small ICs and stuff components like that uh, which are surface mounted so that's very small I'm gonna go with through hole components and uh, in complex PCB designs you can choose three tracks or two tracks between the uh, the two points uh, but in RLC circuit is probably gonna work with it's not probably so of course gonna work with one track let's just go with two track for now next and this is the size of the wire that PCB will have so just make sure the 0.2 is absolutely fine for the RLC circuit but I'm gonna just make it 0.6 so it's just a little bit clearer uh, it's the thickness of the wire thickness of the track on the PCB so if you are running if you are working with a circuit that uh, draws 5 6 amps or 10 amps or huge amounts of current you might want to increase the size of this go to 1.5 but 2 that's, that's quite a lot of thick wire so just make sure that if you use very small diameter of the wire the wire the PCB the specific wire of the PCB may just burn out so in our circuit it's perfectly fine there's no mistake okay so this is the width and the hole size the drilling hole size you can just put drilling hole size whatever you want here and this is the minimum clearance between the two wires so this doesn't matter for now for an RLC circuit uh, uh, it does matter for LC circuits where you have to like generate an electromagnetic wave there are there's many a lot of many of the electromagnetic interferences but uh, for now it doesn't matter uh, we're just gonna go with 0 0.5 meters and next millimeters and next now there is our PCB 5x5 cm and go to projects click on this tab go to projects drag it double click and drag it to this upper portion now control s save it save it to the same folder that you save the schematics in or we'll see PCB don't change the other portion okay let's save it okay wait now go to the schematics and go to design and click on updated PCB schematics okay so you have to plan select all of these and execute changes okay fine close and now that you have executed those changes we can see now right click to drag it left right all these components are here so I have to drag these components if there are two components on top of each other I have to select there's a battery I have to drag the capacitor and I have to drag the inductor here and the resistor here okay so these are the components now our components are here so I'm gonna wanna rotate this one I have to click here in the clicking position press spacebar 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 okay so this look good 
and also select this one you don't have to just select the spacebar won't work you have to click on it and so it's in the dragging position and just make sure you have you push it on the clicking position and the last one there it is okay so now i wanna connect the wires this is the direct routing connection click here and you have to make sure that uh, the, when you select here there's a circle there if there's not a circle it doesn't matter you can still get the connection if you are accurate click once if there are left turns there click one click twice and if you want to get rid of it right click and you will get rid of it okay click here and there are like two turns now you have to click twice there one two and that's it right click and it will disappear click here and there there and there okay so that's it our pcb is done and uh, we can increase or decrease the size put other components here so just com more components less components this is a basic example uh, so this is the procedure and uh, we can then it's make a pdf file smart pdf and uh, go to next it will be generated at the same thing next 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 finish let's just finish it up uh, let's make it colorful finish and the pcb will open and you can take on the print and print it like a pcb some local mechanism or you can online or was or online uh, so as you can see uh, there is a pdf file the schematics and here's the detail of everything else and you can add the below components and everything detail that i will tell in another another video so there it is it's a basic simple circuit and uh, there are options to change the dimensions and lot of details that I will be telling in another video so we can go to file we can make Gerber files and there's a lot of other options that I will cover in another video so thank you very much take care